Hello everyone, back to you into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for Easter for the final time um, for this season of updates for Easter 2018. So I think we've reached a sixth update uh, now and of course Good Friday tomorrow, so there'll be no point doing any more updates after tonight. Now we know it's going to be in a, uh, an unsettled Easter and it's going to be pretty cold as well. There will be drier spells, I think particularly focusing on Sunday as the best day of the Easter period. Uh, it certainly doesn't look too bad at all. It won't be universally dry. It will be cold. That's going to be another feature of this Easter with temperatures remaining very suppressed and depressed uh, for what you would expect at the end of March or start of April. But Easter certainly will be our best day. There's a question mark about Easter Monday. Uh, could we get some heavy snow? I think it's most likely for northern parts of the country, uh, maybe over high ground, but there is quite a bit of uncertainty about it. And uh, I would expect to see a snow watch turning up at some point over the uh, Easter weekend as we firm up on the detail for Easter Monday. So I'll take through everything that's going on uh, right now. But the final time, we're going to begin with the uh, weather for Good Friday. This is how the GFS is looking for Good Friday uh, with low pressure down to the south. So low pressure is going to be dominating the whole of the uh, Easter period, really. And we're bringing in these chilly to cold sort of easterly winds. Our uh, rare temperatures look generally quite cool. It is actually cold over Scotland and elsewhere. The temperatures, uh, upper air temperatures and surface temperatures are below average. We've got two areas of rain tomorrow. One will be across northeast England and eastern Scotland. Some of that could give sleet or snow over hills. And after a dryish morning, heavy rain will start to move into the south. Uh, and that's going to push northward. So many parts of England and Wales turn wet during the course of Friday afternoon with some quite heavy and persistent outbreaks of rain. That's how the temperatures are looking on Good Friday. So we're in any brighter breaks, probably struggling up to around 10 degrees. That's 50 Fahrenheit. But under any persistent rain, temperatures of just 6 or 7 uh, really is the best we're going to get. Across eastern Scotland, northeast England, temperatures are even colder than that. And these temperatures are below average for what is, of course, the penultimate day of March. Low pressure continues to dominate the weather on Easter Saturday, sitting across the southeastern part of the country. More of an easterly wind coming in on Saturday. Uh, that's going to be quite a cold easterly wind as well, heading in off the North Sea. So it will be quite a raw feel, I think, with that easterly. There's the upper air temperatures. It's turning colder across the northern half of the country. And nowhere would you say it's particularly mild, the temperatures upper air temperatures are below average, but it's particularly cold uh, up in the north. There's all of the wet weather still left over from uh, Good Friday and sort of Friday night, Saturday morning. So still heavy rain across eastern and central parts of the country through the day. And that gradually moves more towards the east side. So the western side of the country will get the driest, brightest of the weather on Saturday. But eastern areas are likely to have further outbreaks of rain on and off through much of the day. And uh, some of that could be a bit winchy again, particularly across, uh, across northeastern parts of England. There's other temperatures for uh, Saturday. Very, very disappointing temperatures. The far southeast might scrape 10, 11, 12 degrees, but the bulk of the country is stuck down in single figures. Sevens and eights through the Midlands and central southern England. Uh, fours, five, sixes for Wales, just threes and fours for northern England and further north than that in Scotland, barely up to two or three degrees, way below average for what they expect on the final day of uh, March. And then go through to Easter Sunday itself. And Easter Day looks like this with a rich building down from the north. This does promise the uh, driest weather of the Easter period. It won't be completely dry because the um, pressure is still relatively weak. But it does promise the driest day. However, we pay the price of that with upper air temperatures lowering. So even down in the south, uh, it's a colder day on uh, Easter Sunday, but it is mainly dry. Where we've got these uh, green hatched areas, that just tells there might be some light showers around in a few places. But I think mostly Easter Sunday is a dry day until we find this cloud and rain heading into the very, very far southwestern tip of the country right at the end of the afternoon. But look at those temperatures. That really is very, very cold for the first day of April, just four, five, six degrees in the north, 
Um, six, sevens and eights down in the south. Way below average again for this time of year. And over across Northern Ireland, colder than average too. And then we've got those problems for Easter Monday. Is this area, area of low pressure heads in from off the Atlantic. It is bringing warmer air behind it from the south, but ahead of it, there's a legacy of cold air, and there is a bit of a battle going on as that frontal system pushes northwards. There's our upper air temperatures for Easter Monday, so it does turn actually quite mild down in the south, but in the north it's cold, and along the boundary, which by midday on Easter Monday is across northern Ireland and northern England, there could well be heavy rain or heavy snow. A lot of uh, precipitation moving northwards through the course of Monday morning, so thoroughly wet across many parts of the country. And that rain only slowly moves north. So it does, by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, for example, it does look across, it's um, stalling a little bit across uh, northern England, northern Ireland and southern Scotland. And that's probably where the greatest risk of uh, snow is going to be on Easter Monday. But it could be a little bit further north, could be a little bit further south uh, than that. The bulk of Scotland stays dry and cold. Down in the south, it's brightening up and probably turning uh, remarkably mild, or well, not remarkably mild, but turn, certainly turned a lot milder, with temperatures around 13 or 14 degrees on the south coast, around where you'd expect to be in early April. But look at those temperatures across northern England, northern Ireland, Scotland, being forecast at 3 o'clock in the afternoon to be barely above freezing. So, uh, really cold day with snow possible up in the north. This is how the uh, precipitation type forecast looks based on that uh, run finally from the GFS. So this is for midnight on Bank Holiday Monday with rain piling into the southwest and that pushes northwards, turning readily to snow across Northern Ireland, Northern England. Some snow suggested for parts of North Wales, but it's generally a little bit further north of Wales. So really snowy scene across Northern Ireland and Northern England through the course of Bank Holiday Monday morning. Heavy rain to the south of it. And then that heavy snow is pushing northwards from Northern England into Scotland during the course of Bank Holiday Monday afternoon with drier weather and milder weather uh, returning uh, to the south. So it's a very interesting uh, period coming up, to say the least. We will be probably doing a snow watch, I would have thought, uh, in the next day or so uh, for this event across particularly northern parts of the country on Bank Holiday Monday. But just to firm, firm up a little bit more on where that's going to be, because it might be a little bit further north, a little bit further south. Essentially, it's going to be quite a cold uh, Easter, and it is going to be unsettled too, with rain never too far away. Easter Sunday is looking um, the driest uh, day overall. Um, and that's it. That's the uh, final Easter update uh, for this year. It's not the Easter weekend most of us would have wanted, but we just have to roll with whatever uh, the weather gods throw at us. And this year they've decided to be uh, quite unkind, giving us a lot of rain and those suppressed temperatures as well. But I'm sure we'll all make the most of it uh, in any case. Updates will continue at Gaz Obis throughout the Easter weekend. Uh, we're going to be giving away a prize as well, so I'll just finish off talking about that. Uh, we're giving away the uh, combined weather dial. We've teamed up with mechcheck.co.uk weather instrumentation. Um, so we've had over 180 entrants uh, for the competition uh, this year. A, a phenomenal response. You've still got time to enter to win this prize. All you have to do is email your name and address to gazofficegmail.com or fill out the contact form uh, on the competition page, a page that I'm on right now, uh, and uh, leave us your name and address. We'll place you into the prize draw. And on Sunday, on Easter Sunday, one person will be winning that uh, prize. So good luck to everybody that has entered. Um, and uh, just say other updates over weekend will be weekend forecast. We're going to have some more analogues on Sunday for uh, the summer. There's a historic video, as always, on Bank Holiday Monday. We're going to be looking at the spring and summer of 2013 for our East Monday historic video. So updates will continue throughout the weekend. But whatever you're doing this Easter, have a great time. And uh, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.